Today we're going to learn about analyzing equations with special cases. This is lesson 2.6. Our learning targets today are solve for the value or values that satisfies or satisfy the condition of equality between two expressions. So this is something we've been working on for the last five lessons. The second is use mathematical tools to distinguish between equations that have one solution, infinite solutions, and no solutions. So these are the special cases that we're referring to. A quick overview. So almost all one variable equations that are linear include one value in the solution set, but not all. Identity and no solution equations are breaks from the norm. So every equation we've seen to this point has had only one correct answer. Today we're going to learn about the two types of e linear equations, the identity and the no solution equations, that have something different for their answers. So we're going to go over three equations that have the solution sets that we just addressed. One solution, no solution, and infinite solutions. So here's the first equation. So I'm looking at this equation and I'm comparing it to a scale, right, where we want the scale to remain balanced, we want the equation to, be, to remain balanced. And so what we have here is we've got four times or four unknown uh, values equaling two unknown values plus six, right? So if I convert this to blocks, we've got our four unknown values, we've got our two unknown values, and we've got the known value of six, and right now the scale is balanced. But we want to figure out what is the value that is keeping the scale balanced. What is the value the variable represents? So let's go ahead and begin to solve this equation. We've got a variable expression on both sides of the equation. So we need to make a variable side and a number side. Now we can start by getting rid of or using inverse operations to eliminate the variable on the number side. This is a 2x. I want to subtract to undo the addition of the 2x. So I'm going to subtract 2x from this side and I'm going to subtract 2x from this side. So now you can see what I've done is I've taken two of the boxes away from both sides. When I do that, the scale now looks like this, where we have only two boxes left, because now we have 4x minus 2x is 2x, equals this is 0, 6. So what value added to itself equals 6, or what value times 2 equals 6. Well, let's continue to use our properties of equality to figure this out. Divide both sides of the equation by 2. Here we get a 1, and we know that 1 times x is just x, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. And we knew that before we even solved using our inverse operations that 3 plus 3, or 3 is the only value added to itself that equals 6. So all of these boxes are actually a 3, and this is the only value that balances the scale or makes both of the expressions equal each other. So here's an example of an equation that has only one answer and the solution set x equals 3. Here's our next equation. x plus 10 equals x plus 20. And if I put blocks on the scale, we know that some value added to 10 needs to equal that same value added to 20 to balance this scale. So let's go ahead and start solving. We've got variable expressions on both sides of the equation. So let's make a variable side. Let's make the number side. Start by eliminating the variable on the number side. So we've got an x right here. How do I get rid of an x? I subtract an x. And I make sure that I keep the equation equal or the scale balanced by doing it to both sides. When I simplify, we know that x minus x is 0. So we're just left with 10 here. We know that x minus x is 0, so we're just left with 20 here. And now what we have is an equation that doesn't even have a variable. And so this is one of the features of e linear equations that are special cases. Equation without a variable. So if we're looking at this equation, we've got to determine, is it true or false? Does 20 equal 10 or does 10 equal 20 and if we put our scale put this back into the scale context it's clear that 10 does not equal 20 10 and 20 do not balance each other so this equation is false we have a false equation here 
So our answer for the solution set is no solution. The scale is not equal and there is no value that can correct the imbalance. There's no value for the variable x that will make the left expression equal the right expression. So we say that x has no solution. So let's go over our third equation. And you can see here we've got x plus 4 equals x plus 4. You already know that this is going to be a special case because the left expression is the same exact expression as the right expression. But let's continue. So if we put this into our block context, we've got some value plus 4 balanced by that same value plus 4. So let's figure out what that value is. We've got a variable side. We've got a number side. Let's go ahead and start by eliminating the variable on the number side. So we're going to subtract an x because there's one x right here. We want to subtract one x. We make sure that we balance the equation by using our properties of equality to both sides. Now we can simplify the left side. x minus x we know is 0 and 0 plus 4 is 4. Here we have x minus x we know is 0 and 0 plus 4 is 4. So again, we've got an equation that does not have a variable in it. So we have to ask ourselves, is it true or is it false? Does 4 equal 4? And the answer is, it's true. 4 equals 4. They're the same exact value. So if we put this back into our scale context, we have is 4 being balanced by 4, and the scale is in perfect balance. Now, what is our answer for this? Well, our answer is actually all real numbers. Any value that we substitute in for x will result in the left expression equaling the right expression. I'm going to go ahead and test this out, and I'm going to choose an arbitrary value, so negative 3. I'm plugging that in for x. On the right, I get the same thing as I will on the left. Negative 3 plus 4 is 1, and negative 3 plus 4 is 1, right? The same would be true if I plugged in negative 10. Negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. Negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. So no matter what value... I plug in for the variable, the equation is always going to come back true. So our solution set is x equals all real numbers. Any number, any value will keep the scale balanced. So equations that, or equations that have expressions that are the same on both sides are called identity equations. They're identity equations. Because it does not matter what the value is for the variable, the equation will always be true.